News at 6, I'm Mike Seeler. And I'm Dawn Baker. Tonight, we continue to follow that deadly shooting inside the Smith State Prison over the weekend. It happened yesterday morning. The Georgia Department of Correction says 24-year-old Arion Grace was working as a food service employee for Aramark in the, uh, in the prison when inmate Jadrakis Hart who was in a personal relationship with her, shot her and then himself. Our Tyler Mannion has been looking into this all day, joins us now live in the studio. Tyler, what new information have you been able to learn? Mike, Don, the Georgia Department of Corrections tells me this incident brings the total number of deaths in state prisons in 2024 to 130. That number, you might remember, includes two inmates who died in the same week at Smith State Prison back in February, Vicarious Mahoney and Janelle Gray. The GDC tells us both of those investigations are still pending autopsy res reports right now. And we also asked the Department of Corrections for an update on the prison lockdown and pause to visitation rights today, but we are yet to get a response to those questions. Along with the GDC, here's who else we've reached out to for answers today. We are currently waiting to hear back from the Tatler County Sheriff's Office. That's where the prison is located. I've also talked with Matthew H. Lovett and Son's Funeral Home, who's arranging Grace's service. They tell us the details for that service are still being worked out. We are also waiting to hear back from Statesboro High School, where Grace graduated from in 2018, according to her Facebook page. I was able to speak with the group who advocates for better treatment in prisons. They say this latest incident only adds to their concerns. Everything else that could be in there, a freaking gun was was uh, introduced into the facility, and now you have two dead people. Um, you know, so. I, I think, you know, that's my frustration. Randolph, who you just heard from, says he was incarcerated himself for a short period of time and now leads his group trying to make sure detained people are treated fairly. I also reached out to people who knew Grace to try and hear about the life she lived. We'll update this story as soon as we hear back from them. WTOC has continued to follow the recent crimes surrounding Smith State Prison. You can take a look at all of our past coverage by heading to our website, WTOC.com. Just look for the homepage. Right now, firefighters are investigating after a fire.